Hello everyone, after about a 5 hour drive from Nairobi city, we are here at Amboseli National Park and this is where we are going to spend the next couple of days looking at animals and enjoying the fantastic view. Amboseli National Park is known for its view of Mount Kilimanjaro which is the tallest peak in Africa which is about 5,900 meters and it towers over the entire national park. So you see the animals in the backdrop of this beautiful mountain and it is a very different experience from the Maasai Mara it seems. We have already made our bookings at the hotel here so now we are at the gate right now we are taking the entry tickets to the uh, national park and from then on we will proceed uh, for another 40 kilometers right into the hotel where we are going to be staying. So we are within the Amboseli National Park uh, right now. We paid about $130 altogether for a family of five at the gate but as the entry ticket. That is $130 US dollars, $35 US dollars for an adult and $20 US dollars for kids. And we are within the Amboseli uh, National Park and the landscape is completely different from Masai Mara. It's, uh, there's a lot of uh, water around because it's just rained and it's swampy and you find a lot of birds. I believe the Amboseli National Park is very known for the birds, the wide variety of birds that you see and the big huge herds of elephants. We have just reached our hotel, Kilima. We are just going to head out for lunch now, have a lunch in peace, and then head out for our game drive. Uh, this hotel also organizes all kinds of safari drives, but we have chosen a safari drive all the way from the we picked up the vehicle all the way from Nairobi, so that we have the flexibility of moving around at our own pace and uh, take it maybe a little longer or shorter as per our convenience. The hotel had a lot of facilities, large lounge area, a huge restaurant, swimming pool and a nice empty space to stargaze as well. But the best part was that the cottages were spaced wide apart and you had to walk through bushes to make your way through. There was enough nature, quiet and privacy at the Kilima. The rooms were nice and clean. There was a lot of space too. We are now heading for lunch and I am very very hungry right now. We started at around 7.30 in the morning from Nairobi. So now it's about 2 in the afternoon. We ate sandwiches on the way, had some juice and stuff that we picked up from the local shops here. They call it local mama shops. All women are called mamas. So I'm also a mama, any woman is a mama. And there are a lot of mama shops here from which we picked up all the stuff that we got to eat. And now we want to have a proper meal heading to the restaurant. You don't get room service here. You got to go to the restaurant, the common area for Wi-Fi and food as well. Gosh, I'm really starving. I'm really hungry, I'm going to relish my lunch, but there's a very interesting thing here. The water, if you have to drink water during lunch, you have to pay for it. It doesn't come free. You can carry water bottles to your room, but to the restaurant, you can't carry bottles and you have to buy it. So that's one way they make their money. So we had our lunch, a little break, and at around 4 p.m. here we are, all set to go for our first game drive at Ambo City National Park. There are many pics of Mount Kilimanjaro that I have seen on television, but seeing it with your own bare eyes is a different experience altogether. 
You know, it's not very easy to spot Mount Kilimanjaro among the clouds, but just for a few minutes, we have spotted it nice and clear behind us. Just have a look. It looks spectacular against this backdrop. Mount Kilimanjaro is a dormant volcano in Tanzania, the highest mountain in Africa, 5,895 meters above sea level. It is a major hiking and climbing destination. One of the highlights of Amboseli Park are the massive herds of elephants, which you don't see at Masai Mara. Now, these elephants cross from one part of the park to the other every day, every morning. And this is about 9.30 or 10 in the morning. And we are seeing these herds cross the tracks that we follow, you know, to navigate through the park. Blind. Okay, we need to be quiet. Very quiet. We've been waiting for more than 15 minutes to catch this herd and this is a huge herd full of mama tuskers and baby elephants. It's going to be quite a sight to see them cross and we're just hoping, all fingers crossed, that they will cross the road just in front of us. Let's wait and watch. They are kind of far away right now. We've been waiting for more than 20 minutes for them to get this far and another 5 minutes I think they should be crossing us. Let's just hope it's right in front of us. We got ample time to watch them. First a herd came and waited at a distance. Then the rest of the herd joined in. And together they set out in our direction. Walking slowly in a line. Following the tracks, babies protected by their mothers. None of them seemed bothered by our presence. Slowly, they crossed us and disappeared into the swamps. Big guy. Big guy, my God. We kept moving our jeep to see them up close till we finally managed. And what a feeling that was. Some about 100 odd elephants, all full of mothers and children. Mama Tasker leading the way, crossed us by. And it was an unbelievable sight. I, th I don't think I'll ever see anything like this uh, ever again. It was such a spectacular sight. Ambusili is full of these marvelous views. These mind blowing views. Oh, you can hear one trumpet right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Day two, morning at the Kilma Lodge. I'm just shuttling between two tents to get the kids ready for the game drive. And the Mount Kilimanjaro just cleared up and they have a direct view. The kids' room has a direct view of the Mount Kilimanjaro. So I'm just going to check it out and capture it for you. The walk to the kids' room itself was so refreshing. This is the view that we have from the kids' room. Isn't it beautiful? This place is so calm, so serene. You wake up to so much of nature that your heart fills up with gratitude and contentment. It's just a splendid experience out here. I cannot capture it on camera for you all, the whole essence of it. But I'm trying to show you bits and pieces of what it feels like to be here, right in the midst of nature, in all the peace and tranquility at the Kilima. So we were looking at these reed bugs when we suddenly spotted some movement in the bushes ahead and there was this clan of spotted hyenas. Look another one, they are looking at us. Now when they said to give it, they are here. Where? Dada, if you can see it. There you have the hyena. Can you see him in the bushes? And also everyone, I spotted it. And a couple were having their mud bath in their own little pools too. They are not as harmless. They are known to attack in groups and can even bring down lions. Are these stops standing on my jacket? right now because there's a lot of breeze blowing this is a highly windy area this is right in the midst of Amboseli National Park there is an airstrip here so you will see an aircraft landing here anytime soon and people who want to travel to Amboseli National Park also have a means of transportation which I certainly can't afford which is the aircraft and there are people waiting to board the plane right now so let me show that to you There are many airports and smaller airports all over Kenya, more than 70 in all, which means that most of the top tourist destinations in Kenya are well connected by air and if you are willing to shell out some extra money, well, you could save a lot of time. In fact, Amboseli is known for its water bodies and the wide array of wildlife that thrives in this ecosystem. This must be Hippo Paradise. Wide bearded wildebeest, elephants, buffaloes, hippos, cheetahs, leopards, they are all here. But the birds are the speciality. There are more than 400 species of birds here. You also see a lot of pelicans here. 
They are huge birds when you see them up close. I wasn't prepared for this. Hundreds and hundreds of flamingos dotting the vast expanse of this lake. I have to admit, my eyes welled up at this breathtaking sight. It has rained in Ambrosoli, so the flamingos are here to feed on their favorite food, which are the algae. They look spectacular with their shades of pink against the blue waters of the lake. What is interesting about Ambrosili is that even if you don't see any animals, the beauty of this place is unbelievable. Some places seem straight out of the movie Jurassic Park. Then you have this vast expanse of this bright blue sky and the lakes. And then these trees. This is the view of the park from the top of a hill. That day we came back with our hearts full. Oh gosh, that's a hippo. We experienced nature to the fullest. So day two of game drive at Ambosili National Park is over and now we are back at the hotel. Uh, it's been a very long day but super exciting and super fun. Uh, it was very different from the Maasai game drive. Certainly the landscape was so totally different. And, but we are still tired and exhausted from the dream game drive because it's been a lot of bumpy, choppy ride. Um, we're going to go to the hotel room now and just chill and unwind and relax and recharge for tomorrow morning. We, mi we might have a shorter game drive tomorrow before we head back to the city in Nairobi from where we plan our next trip. And what is that? I will tell you later. I'll see you soon. I hopefully should be able to catch something tomorrow in case I do I will show it to you else I will see you in the next vlog